Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> now, what kind of reaction did the team give Paul and KG for reaching these milestones tonight? Well, I think they're tired of it. You yeah. know, it just feels like every game we're clapping. Uh, it feels like one of those two, or somebody's passing something uh, every night. No, they, they, they make a joke of it, but it's just really cool. Um, when you pass a, a Barkley and a Wes, those names, that's pretty impressive. Uh, I mean, Kevin just passed the logo. When you think of it in those terms, uh, it's just pretty remarkable what he's doing. Nice to have Paul back in line. Yeah, yeah. But really, it was nice. Uh, Avery, I thought in the third quarter, changed the complexion of the game uh, with his ball pressure. You know, because we had a stretch in the second, we're up 10, but I thought that third quarter, just our defense in general, and that just Avery, the whole team, we got up, we pressured. Uh, boy, that, that's really good when you do that. Uh, then they can't uh, pick you apart with who they want to go to because there's not enough clock. Did you see kind of, us to kind of like a stabilizing effect, Paul? Because he can do, gives you here and there. And yeah, he is, but I, I don't want to overplay it, honestly. We were awful last well, night, you know it. what I mean? But clearly having Paul on the floor is important for it because he does more than just stabilize. He scores, and he's a threat at the end of the clock. Uh, and that's huge for us, you know. You know, uh, the other, last night, we had a lot of in-the-clock possessions, and we didn't have our guy that can get a shot off whenever he wants to, and that hurt us. We don't want to get in those positions, uh, but last night was one of those games we did. Doc, how concerned are you about the early turnovers? Is it a big deal to you? Six, yeah, six? I don't like turnovers or fouls. Uh, and, you know, we had a couple of sloppy plays, and uh, but we got out of it. You know, that was a good thing. Regardless of Paul coming back, do you feel like it really seemed like the team wanted to respond? You know, yeah, I, I don't know if it was night. last night or whatever, but they wanted to play well. They didn't like what happened last night. Back to Avery for a second. His ability to take the other point guards, and he's plural because both of those guys seem a little, his ability to do that so consistently. Which is well, he's just good at it. You know, it's like Scotty Pippen, you know, when you play the Bulls, you're praying that I hope he guards the other guy tonight. Yeah. You know, because uh, he was one of those guys that can guard one, two, or three. And, uh, you know, you were hoping, uh, okay, I uh, hope. I mean, it's how rare is it that you want Michael to guard you? <laughs> you know, over Scotty. And I'm thinking that's Avery and even Courtney. You know, Courtney's a good defender as well, but they're probably thinking, you know, I'll take him over him. Um, and he's just, his feet are so good. I mean, he stays in front of the ball, he gets up into it. And it's big for us. I mean, he's really making us a better defensive team. And it seems that some teams have tried to do that to him pressure move, but he doesn't seem to be. No, yeah, and, and when he does get pressure, we just tell Courtney to bring it up because it doesn't really matter in our offense who brings it up. And, you know, um, you know that's where we're different. Doc, are you concerned uh, or worried or are you perhaps going to be concerned when you guys lose a couple of games of losing any type of confidence? No, I don't think I, I don't worry about that. You know, um, I think. Sometimes you're, you're playing poorly. Sometimes you play a really good team like Oklahoma. Sometimes you show up and you don't play well. Um, you know, I think all season, during the season, there's individuals on your team who lose, go up and down in confidence. That's just part of team basketball. And while that's happening, you're hoping somebody else is covering for them until they recover. Um, but as a team, I think we have great confidence. 21 games since going to go, this team has seemed like it's established its own identity yeah. separate from the way you guys want to play. Yeah, well, we had no choice. Uh, we either could have tried to play the same way and lose, or we had to we had to change. And, you know, what's great is we haven't changed any sets. We've just changed the way we get into it, uh, where anyone can start it now. Uh, anyone can bring the ball up. And, uh, you know, that's helped.